I've been making YouTube videos for four years now. When I first started, everybody used to tell me I was underrated. Four years later, I'm still underrated. After a certain point, you gotta realize it's you. After a certain point, you gotta realize you ain't got it like that. You ain't got the juice like that. That don't mean stop or give up. You just gotta know your role, know your place. A lot of people be out here thinking they Kobe when they smush Parker. Re smush Parker. I can't be out here doing numbers like everybody else. We just in our place, in our lane. Now that we know our role, we gotta move as such. I'm out here grinding, streaming every day for 40 people. I appreciate everybody that stopped through my videos. I appreciate everybody that stopped through my streams. I appreciate everybody that hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. We just ain't got the numbers like everybody else. We gotta keep ours low key. We gotta move as such, you feel me? The sauce mob ain't heavy. We light right now. One day we gonna glow. We just don't know when that day gonna be because it takes a little longer for some of us. You feel me? But with that being said, I asked y'all to send me videos on Twitter. Nobody sent me no videos. I understand. Y'all don't believe in me. I understand. Y'all don't think the video is gonna be jumping like Jordan. When I told y'all, send me videos on Twitter, we gonna have it jumping like Jordan, y'all must have didn't believe me. I must don't have that weight like that. I hold weight behind my words. I found this video on Twitter myself. Thanks to my boy Polo for liking it. He had no idea that I was even gonna react to this. After he liked it on Twitter, I instantly react to it. This thing is comedy. I need 2,000 likes on this video if I know you really rocking with the kid. If y'all don't like this video, I don't know what else y'all want from me. I don't know what else y'all want from me. When I told you it's time for us to get it jumping like Jordan, I'm a man of my word. I want the sauce mob to be taken serious like Clout Gang, Team 10, goddamn David Dobrik and his people. Like, I want the sauce mob to be something strong. I never linked up with no YouTuber, so I don't know nobody else that make YouTube videos. I got vlog ideas that might change the whole dynamic of YouTube. I just ain't out here moving like that because I don't know nobody, nobody know me. My words don't hold weight because it ain't no strength behind my name. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta know your role, know your place, and maintain your grind. So welcome to the sauce mob. Hit that button that say subscribe and join a ride. You feel me? All right, chat, we don't have the full story of what led up to this point, but this is exactly where we're gonna have to start from. I'm, I'm just as upset as you are because I would love to see the gameplay that led up to this. So let's just listen to the commentary of my guy right here. Let's listen to what he has to say. Be posting this thing's a horse. Okay, based off that right there, I still don't know what the hell go. This man got on the Santa hat, but I don't think he in the Christmas spirit talking like this. Wait a minute, wait a wait a minute, bro. Nigga, fucking be posting. This thing's a fucking horse. Okay. It's a fucking god, nigga. Okay. A fucking god. Okay. This thing is god like bitch. Fuck you talking about, nigga? Okay, okay, okay. Based off that right there, what I caught from that was V posted horse, he a god. Okay, we talking about a horse, so that mean good rebounding. If you play 2K, somebody that's called a horse, that mean they grab rebounds. Based off his my career stats, we not talking about him, cause he only averaged two rebounds in my career. And if you look over to his my points, not one thing on rebounding is up on that list. So I know for a fact, he can't be talking about himself being a horse. He's a pure stretch four. He could be excited about himself getting rebounds at a stretch four, but I don't think he's talking about himself. So let's see exactly what's going on here. Cause I'm confused. This thing is God like bitch. Okay. V posting right there, right there. He talking about his teammate. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all can take notes. I got my notepad right here. We can take notes on this. If you're not hyping me up like this, I don't want you on my team. This guy I carry much, he is supporting his teammates for great rebounding. This is the type of communication we need out here. If y'all not hyping me up like this, don't be on my team. He happy 
happy that his teammate is getting rebounds. He the stretch big. His guy is the rebounder. He grab a board and probably kick it back out to him. That's proper teamwork. When your teammates play good, you play good, and y'all go hand in hand. This is how you supposed to support your team. They go fucking V posting. This thing's a fucking horse. Okay, money got shook real quick. Money got shook real quick. He seen the devil live and in person. What is this? Mom, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all gotta keep that same energy. Y'all gotta keep that same energy out in these streets before you get court lacking like my guy right here. Look how he was talking on the internet. The fucking God, nigga! A fucking god! This nigga's god right, bitch! Fuck you talking about, nigga! He had all that to say on the internet, but right when right when the real nigga pulled up for him right for talking like that, he was shook! When a real nigga pull up on you for talking like how you talking, y'all get shook! What happened to all that energy? Now, now, where's V posted? <laughs> he need V posted. <laughs> when he needed V posted, he wasn't there for him, huh? We over the internet, V posted can't save you. Your stretch big can't help you in this situation. I carry much of like you'll be carrying your ass once your mom get done whooping it. He talking about I carry much. You ain't carrying nothing but that ass whooping at the moment, bro. Where'd all that energy go? If he posted, he's still a god, but he can't save you from this. Don't pray to him now. <laughs> he need that big body screens to get your mom up off you. It ain't happening, bro. You by yourself out here. Let me see what energy he got. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you I'm really sorry. kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is mom, going on? Mom, relax. I'm sorry. His mom pulled up on him with that coat hanger. She wanted all the smoke. He ain't ready for that coat hanger. I support moms everywhere. My mom raised me by herself, you feel me? So I need y'all to understand that I know his mom came in there to whoop some ass, but all she had was a plastic coat hanger. Mom, this one for you. I got something for you. Three minutes later. Now we got the metal coat hanger with the rubber grips on the side. You feel me? This coat hanger is high quality, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about metal bar. We're talking about beautiful, beautiful rubber grips on both sides of the coat hanger, which means maximum grip. So when he come out there talking that hot mess on the park, you could bust in his room and start whooping his ass with this. Let him, let him feel this. Let him feel this. I bet he won't be talking like that no more. When this metal hit his ass, he ain't gonna be ready to say nothing. He ain't gonna be talking like that no more. He ain't gonna be that little plastic coat hanger. It, it, it sent a message, but we need to make sure that message hit home you feel me <laughs> you feel me when this grip you see it's in pink for all my ladies out there i got y'all it's in pink it's nice it feel good in the hands so once you really get a good grip of this you can really knock somebody with this. yes yes i got you i got you this coat hanger it's way better. It got some nice weight to it. I want to say this thing weighs about about five ounces. You feel me? It weighs about five ounces. That little plastic thing you got, probably like one ounce. It ain't, it ain't got no weight to it, bro. I got you, man. <laughs> I got you. This thing got a nice weight to it. Got some nice grip. You could really whoop some ass with this coat hanger. So when he get out of line again, you ready. You ready. He better watch his mouth. He better be watching his mouth. You feel me? I don't know how old money is. I don't know how old he thought he was, but his mom had to bring him back to reality. V posted ain't setting no more big body screens and grabbing no rebounds when this coat hanger hit that ass. You feel me? Watch your mouth out here. I'm sorry. I did not. I did not mean to cry. I didn't even know you were in the house. You don't know I'm in the house. You don't know who is listening. Mom. So this is. Why those words should not be out of your mouth. I'm sorry. Excuse me? This is not 
Mom, I, I talked to you about it. I'm sorry. This ain't the first time she had to warn him about it. He got multiple strikes on his ass, bro. You should have learned your lesson. Pete, I'm telling you, that's why you need them. Do I need to get the coat hanger again, huh? Do I gotta go and get it back? Cause you obviously don't listen. She gave you one strike, two strike, three strikes, and that's your ass. She was on your head, Mr. Santa. What was you thinking? Out here just talking on willy nilly. Did you get homework today? Did you do even yes, do your schoolwork I did, I did, yet? I did. I did. He out here in the stage not doing his homework. What are y'all doing? What are y'all out here doing? Y'all, y'all, y'all neglecting homework for 2K? You out here talking heavy on the stage when your grades aren't up to par? I need to see some grades, bro. If it ain't A's and B's, you can't come to the stage gambling. What kind of, what kind of lesson is 2K teaching these kids? They out here gambling they VC. They can't even count to three. What are y'all doing? Stay in school. Do your homework. Who y'all be thinking, y'all? Y'all talking like y'all grown. Y'all not even completing assignments out here. Which is why you never know, mm. so you don't do what you're not supposed to. All right, so moral of the story is don't be out here talking what like that. What the hell is oh, wrong? Whoa, 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 All right, so moral of the story is don't be out here talking like that if you ain't ready to get pulled up what on. What is wrong with you out here cussing <laughs> off? All right, so moral of the story is don't be out here talking yeah, like that.